What do you do when this happens? Your fourth didn't show up. Here's 10 drills that you want to do if you still want to get meaningful practice with just three players and they're going from more basic to more advanced. Number one, you're just taking turns being the single person here and you're trying to alternate between these two. So one ball goes to blue, one ball goes to green. If you're starting to get longer rallies, the two players can start spreading the balls out a little bit more so it's becoming tougher for the single players. Do that for two minutes each and then rotate. Second drill, two up, one back. And of course you can make that a little bit more double specific as well if you want to pull this person over here and they're only having half court. If you want to make it a little bit harder for the singles players, they have the entire court. And of course you can stipulate that this player has to alternate or they can go wherever they want to go. And again, if you get longer rallies, the net players can spread the ball out a little bit more. A tougher variation of this drill is that yes, this time the green player has to alternate between the two. When the ball goes to blue player, blue player has to move forward of course and not just get stuck on the service line. But once they've finished their volley, they actually retreat to the service line and now red comes forward. Once they've hit their volley, they go back here and blue moves forward. Of course, in a match you would never hit a volley and then back up. But for the sake of the drill, what these two are working on is a constant forward movement, moving into the volley. And if you can keep the ball in play for this drill, this is a leg buster for the net players. Next up, two back, one up. Again, either alternate with your volleys between blue and green or anything random goes. And of course you can make it more fun if these two players can also throw in lobs to have red player here move up and back a little bit more. You can just do that free whenever they're thinking you're overclosing a little bit too much. They can push you back with a lob or you can do the good old up down, which means these two players, regardless of where the ball is coming, have to alternate between a lower ball, ideally to the feet of the net player, and then the next ball has to be a lob. And again, if you're that player, yeah, it's a tough drill. Next drill is you simply play points out, one against two. But this player, of course, can use the entire court, including the alleys, whereas these two players only have the singles court. So they still have to be precise. This player has to be a little craftier in opening the court because of course they have an easier time covering the court. So this is a great drill for the singles player here to also start looking to exploit the front of the court because of course at the baseline there's not as much real estate open. Let's get into some more advanced drills. You have one player and you have to alternate between the baseline player and the net player. So here you have a constant change of rhythm, constant change of pace, because of course the ball coming from the net player is coming at you a lot faster. For the net player here, there's a whole lot of reaction balls because yeah, if the ball here lands a little shorter and green can move up and it is the time to go to the net player, they're allowed to tee off on you. So you really gotta be ready up there at net. If you're having trouble doing this drill at first, you can also go two to the baseliner. That gives you a little bit more time and then go down the line to the short position player. And then the next ball, of course, goes cross court again. You have a little bit more time again. So that's maybe a really good variation to begin with. Now, a lot of those drills will benefit your doubles play, but almost every single one of them will help you also with your singles game. Now, if you do want to test your skills, then in singles play, you also want to have a tactical helper. And this is where the singles playbook from Fuzzy Yellow Balls comes in. It gives you the list of all the plays you need to play any type of player that you can encounter in singles. Comes with cool illustrations, so really easy to carry on court just to have a quick cleanse, or you just hover over this QR code and you get a short video explaining exactly what you need to be doing to win more matches. I'm gonna drop the link down in the description, and now let's keep going with our drills. Change of direction off the second ball. 
This player here changes direction of each of their second shots. These two players are keeping the ball in cross court. We're playing singles court because this is a little bit more designed for this player here. So what it looks like is the first ball goes cross court. First ball here from red is still cross court, but the next ball that they're getting, their second touch, they're changing direction. And you see now what they have to do when they're over here, that player green has to go cross court. First ball from red has to go back cross court again. Second ball for red here goes up the line. And they have to change direction no matter where the ball here is bouncing. Because a lot of times in singles, when we're changing direction at the wrong time, let's say for instance, a ball that's very far behind the baseline and we're opening up that cross court ball, we're then having to play defense. So you're learning to make the right choices even when you're forced to go down the line and you would not necessarily do that in a match, but you then have to really dig in and play with the consequences of your maybe not so smart shot. Another option, of course, is the good old traditional Canadian doubles. You have two players that have the entire court that they have to defend, meaning red can hit anywhere, including the alleys. And of course, these two players only have half of the court, but the alley is included. And of course, then you switch after each point. So you're playing the regular doubles formation for these players. And again, this is half court for this player only. This drill is called switcher. These two, have to defend their entire court, so including alleys again, and they can only play into the singles court of the red player here. But here's the kicker. After each ball that is hit by either the blue or the green player, they have to switch places. Meaning, let's say this person just hit the ball here, he has to move over to the deuce court and blue has to cover the ad side. And it doesn't matter what kind of ball they've hit, where they've hit it, they have to switch. So it's a really great drill for this player to again, see where there's a hole in the court and what shot they have to play to exploit that hole. Of course, you can play regular singles point. Here's how that drill goes. This side serves and they play a point out. Regular singles point within the singles line, of course, anything goes. If this player wins the point, they stay in. Again, they're serving and they're playing an out point and win or lose that second point, they're now rotating out and blue comes in, going back to deuce court. So each player on the team side will stay in for a maximum of two points. Had green lost their first point, they immediately would have gone out. Blue comes in and takes over the team there. And these two keep their score together. This person keeps score individually by themselves. You can, for instance, play to seven or to 11 and then rotate. So you stay in for a maximum of two, you lose one point, you're out. The team that has the two players always serves. Quick end volleys, two V one. Again, just like we did at the baseline, either that person has to alternate between red and green, or they can go anywhere. You're just timing that for maybe two minutes each, and this is a great warm-up drill, for instance. If you want to play points with that, that also works. That player has, of course, both alleys here, and these two players can only go into the singles court, but I would suggest that all three of you start back on the service line. The first ball has to be a friendly feed towards the person, and then you close in. Now, of course, if the whole court here is too big to cover for that one player, you can also, of course, condense that down, but then this player, if they have only the half to cover, the alley is also good. Again, you start from the service line, first ball has to be somewhat friendly, and then everybody tries to close in when they have high balls to put the ball away. One more drill, consistency volley footwork. Really key, great warm up drill. This player obviously hits every single ball. You're meant to play the ball to one another with volleys. One ball goes. Green plays the ball back, ball comes back, green plays the second volley and then rotates out. Red moves in, plays their two volleys, rotates out, green comes back in. The way that you want to move is always facing 
with your eyes to the court. So back pedal here, get back in position and don't turn your back on the other volleyer. Of course, you can vary that if you're going cross court with the whole thing. So make sure that you are hitting your two balls, one and then two, and you're moving out and you're moving out towards the center of the court because in a match, you would follow your volley into the direction that you just hit it. So you're rotating out, your partner comes in for two volleys, so on and so forth. If you're more of a singles player, I got the video right there for you. Here are the best six singles drills.